right. Tell me about your parents. Where were they born? When were they born? Um, my father was born in Philadelphia. He was born on 2011 Brandywine Street. That would be what is considered Fairmount now. Mm -hmm. And um, my mother was born in Boston. What memories do you have of them? Well, from my, my mother told me that she was born in Boston. <clears throat> Her mother died when she was small, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And then her father sent her and her sister to Ireland. And I think it was, he didn't want to have the problem, I guess. He couldn't, feel, felt he couldn't raise them, I guess. So they, they were, went over to Ireland. I don't know who, who they stayed with or how long they were there, but my mother never wanted to go back to Ireland. When did she come she, to America? I'm not quite sure. I think it was after the First World War. How did your parents meet? That I'm not sure. Um, my mom, when she came back from Ireland, she worked as a house, you know, somebody's house on the main line. Right. And I'm not really sure how she met my father. Okay. Who was more strict, your mother or father? Well, my father was always working. So my mother took care of things at home. Mm -hmm. Do you have a, a memory of something that you did that you were disciplined for? <laughs> I'd like to say I was never disciplined, but that's not true. Uh, <clears throat> no, I think whatever, whenever there was a problem, I, um, no, I can't think so. Okay. I'm sure I was disciplined for lots of stuff. Gosh, I was no, I was no angel, but I think my mom was just happy to see us get out of the house every once in a while. Yeah. Did they have a good marriage? Yes, positively. How did your family earn money? My father worked for Railway Express. It was like a delivery place. It would be like UPS is today, except that it worked with the railroads. Okay. <clears throat> and he worked usually 12th and Master, I think it was, or 8th and Master, and then down on, um, that's where I got my first, I got I got a job right when the war started there. I was working at 18th and Market on the Railway Express. Mm. It, was on, it was during the war, so then nobody bothered you because I had a railroad card, I know that. <clears throat> What kind of things did your family spend money on? I have to say just one thing in necessities. Yeah. It wasn't necessary, it wasn't spent. First of all, they didn't have an awful lot. Mm -hmm. That's true. And uh, there was a lot of hand-me-downs for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, when John, my brother John was the oldest, and when he drew out of grew out of a pair of pants that usually came down at me or Tom for a while. Yeah. How many brothers and sisters did you have? I had uh, two other brothers and two sisters. What, where do you fall in the range? I'm in the middle. Uh, no, I'm the second oldest. Jack was the oldest. I was the second oldest. Mm-hmm. Tom was the next young, Tom was the third, and then my sister Marie and Bernadette were fourth and fifth. Okay. 
what memories do you have of each of them from when you were growing up? Well, I think the biggest thing I recall about my sister Marie mm -hmm. was um, learning her learning shorthand, um, and she used to watch the television and um, practice. Sonography from watching television, right? Shorthand. Okay. Yeah. She worked for a um, company that published medical books down around Fifth and Market. Right around this. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I don't recall Bernadette working at all because she got up. She she married real right after she got out of high school, I think. Okay. Any other memories from when you were growing up about the I used other to work, siblings? Well, when I was growing up, when I was in high school, I was working at um, Horn and Hardits. I was a bus boy. I was down there. I was working there. All day Saturday, mostly all day Sunday, and sometimes on Friday. Whenever I could, whenever, whenever they would let me work, I would work. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I thought that was the best job in the world. Why is that? Well, <clears throat> they had a hot steam table, and um, the ladies who managed the seems we were just kids now, you gotta remember, we, right. I just had gotten a, a working papers. Right. I had to go to get working papers. And we were only allowed to work 40 hours a week, including the hours we went to school. And they figured hmm. 25 hours, five hours a day in school, so that'd be 25 hours, and then you'd have 15 hours of work after school, according to the law. Right. And I always put them in at um, Horn and Harditz, and when I got a chance at Railway Express, but during the war, nobody bothered. You could work whenever you wanted to. Yeah. So any other memories about your siblings from growing up? Um, what yes, I know Jack, <coughs> my brother Jack, mm -hmm. who had a, he had gotten 4F in the draft, which means he wasn't going to go in the war at all. Why? He had a some some lung, lung trouble. He had asthma growing up and all the rest of that stuff. So okay. he was he was yeah he was no he was not going to get drafted. But anyway, he had a job up in North East Philadelphia somewhere, and the draft board told him that he had to get into a war job. So, yeah. I don't know what he was doing up there. So anyway, um, he got somebody to give him some advice, I guess, and he went down to the Navy Yard and applied and got a job as an, got hired as an apprentice, hmm. which meant that he worked part-time and he went to school part-time and he was learning to become a, a tool and die maker which even today, I guess with the computers, they don't need them as much, but at that time they were the top of the cream of the crop. Okay. <clears throat> so as a consequence, he started to go to night school. Then he, was, he went to school down there at the Navy Yard. They had some sort of an apprentice school. Mm -hmm. Then he started to go to school at Temple. Then he started to go at Drexel and I think he was going for almost 14 years. Wow. And he got his degree from Drexel. Okay. And then after that, he was moving up in his job at the Navy Yard. And um, he got to work for Navy Supply Depot up on Roosevelt Boulevard. Okay. 
and I think he was working f for some admiral up there. He was, he was, he was, first of all, it, it happened that he, since he had a good, gotten his education and, and his degree, and during the war, I guess he could move up faster and whatever, and he got his, got noticed or recognized right. or whatever, but he made his promotions all the time and mm -hmm. he was doing well. That's good. Good run. His yeah. wife worked for Atlantic Refining down there in Center City, and when they, <clears throat> later on in life, when they moved down to Brigantine, they lived down in Brigantine. They, for a while, they lived in Sharon Hill, mm -hmm. and then they decided they'd like the shore, so they went down to, they had a home in Brigantine, and they lived down there. Jack was retired then, I think. I'm not sure whether he was or not. I think so. But uh, his wife, Regina, wasn't. But she used to commute. She used to drive the, ride the train up to Philadelphia all the time. Mm -hmm. And the train would go right into the center city, yeah. and she lived and worked right across the street. So it was terrific. It was great. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so did you, you had grandparents? I'm sorry? Did you have grandparents? Grandparents? Um, I never, no, I don't remember. The only one I remember is my mother's father showed up at the house. As I, as I recall, when I was in high school, I think, never, never heard of, and my, my father's parents, I never met, I met one grandma, um, um, she was living with my Aunt Dorothy over on and Dennis Haggerty. She passed away. I don't remember her husband. He was he died when my father was only ten years old, I think. Ten or eleven. Okay. So my my father never grew, grew up with a father. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was in the First World War. But anyway, for the grandparents, my mother's father showed up in West Philadelphia one day. Once? Well, unannounced as far as I was concerned. I right. knew he was coming and I guess he used to, he was a deputy sheriff, I think, down there in Delaware County for a while, a politician or something. And um, did you guys have a relationship? He was well. They got together. They was. <clears throat> it was. It was. He didn't have any place to stay, so he stayed. He used to come up and visit his his daughter, my mom, all the time. Mm -hmm. He'd come down to Wildwood once in a while. He liked that. He had a lot of friends down there. And um, yeah, it was a little, um, he used to play euchre. He used to like to play euchre. He could play that just 24 hours a day, I think. What is that? It's a card game. <clears throat> and uh, every time he, he would come up, he'd want to play, <laughs> which meant that... You had to play? We had to play. And we would meow to my mom that we didn't want to have to sit around. And he'd usually come up when we'd want to go somewhere. Right. So mom's... My mom says, just get over it, play with your grandfather. So we did. I don't say we were the happiest players, but uh, we played. And when he didn't want to play, we felt good. I mean, we'd, we would go outside and play with the guys, but if he was there, we had to play cards. What happened to his wife, to your grandma? Oh, he, well, that would have been a mighty... Mom's mom, right? 
That would have been my mother's mother. Right. She died many years ago oh, because right. that's he why said, he well, sent them to there. Ireland. Right. And there was an estrangement there because I think they would have, from what I understand, they would have preferred not to have to go to Ireland to, to, be, to be raised. Why did he send them? Because he couldn't well, take care of them? That's a good question. I don't have the right answer. and I don't know. Maybe, okay. well, I don't know. Maybe what? Maybe he didn't want to be bothered with them. He didn't have a wife. What was he going to do with raising two girls? I don't know. So who did they live with, do you know? Over in Ireland? Don't have an idea, don't have a clue. I don't even know how long they were there, but I know my mom, my mom met this seamstress who used to work for a family on the main line. Right. Now, your dad would know that story. Okay. And that became a friend of uh, my mom's. Okay. As a matter of fact, when my, when my mother got married, she got married from their house down in South Philadelphia. Hmm. And the people that she worked for wanted my father and my mother to stay out there at the estate wherever she was working. They didn't want to do that, I don't think. But in any case, uh, yeah. that was Mrs. Barr. Right. Mary Barr, yeah. Mary Barr's mother. Okay. And that's when I used to meet Mary Barr. They used to come and visit when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Mary Barr was a very nice, she was a beautiful girl. But Mrs. Barr was just as nice, she was a, a seamstress. And <clears throat> There's a picture over there. If you see those flowers that my mother's holding in her wedding, they were sent by the lady who she was working for, that bouquet. Okay. Somebody told me, that's it. Is your mother and father? Yes. Um, Were they she from? Sent, uh, the chauffeur drove, I mean, I, I, who was telling me this story? The chauffeur came down there the morning of the wedding and with the flowers for my mom down South Philadelphia. And you got to realize my mom didn't have a home to live to, you know. She was just from Ireland. Living out there on the estate and right. whatever. Right, okay. <clears throat> you can put it anywhere. Were your, both your parents from Ireland? Or your, no. your grandparents, I mean? Yes. Both your grandparents were from Ireland. I think all four of them were. Okay. Well, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know whether my father's father was born in England or not, but they were all. I think they were all from Ireland, though. Okay. <clears throat> Did you have any pets growing up? Yeah, we had a dog. One dog. That was enough. We had a dog. You're right. What was his name? Spot. How long did he live? Well, he he was he was scared the hell out of everybody in the neighborhood. He was he was a terror, and uh, we used to have a little vestibule, and it was big glass. And he he just knew how high to jump on that door. But boy, he made a racket when somebody was coming. But he was a good dog. I don't know how long we had him. A long time. What were you like as a child? I was an angel. <laughs> what did you expect me to say? For goodness sake. <laughs> what did you do for fun? What What were your favorite well, we, toys we or games? Like, we, well, we practically lived in the park. Uh, we were only a couple of blocks from Fairmount Park. And you're not familiar with that area down there where we were. And uh, 
once in a while we would be able to sneak in the zoo. Not too often, though. But How did you sneak in? Well, the back way there, it was, you used to have some, I think, service people that would go in there and we'd go in. But, uh, but the, the park is where we, we could, we could go out there after breakfast and not come home till it got dark. Yeah. Excuse me.